Okay, we have more reactions coming from the MPFL All-Stars. Shea Akiwumi, Ebuka also talking, and also the COO of LMC. We really lost Martin at the final. We were very slow. Yeah, and the thing affected our team because the Spanish boys were fast, faster than us. And I know that's nervousness. Some of us were afraid because it's the first time we are playing this kind of thing. Yeah. The only way we can sustain the talent that we have in Nigeria to do well on the world stage consistently is to actually take a long-term plan view of it. So a couple of years ago, at the end of 2015, we launched our youth football development policy. And that entails, you know, having under-13s, under-15s, and under-17s. And um, we now worked with the league, uh, who have 20 major teams in Nigeria, and said, look, you need to have junior teams. And those junior teams must have young, truly young players. Uh, so when this um, tournament came about, we decided, look, let's get the young players in all these teams uh, who are registered without knowing about this tournament. Let's pick all of them and then bring them to camp and then choose the best 20 and bring them here to, to, to take part. So it's, it's, it's a continuous process. What we set out to achieve is not uh, winning trophies, but giving opportunity to the youth to realize their potentials. And uh, you can see that it, is, uh, it has been achieved because these players now have been exposed to different uh, playing styles, to different teams all over the world. And I'm confident that next time we call upon them to represent Nigeria, they will do a good job. Okay, I mean, it's, it's, it's been a wonderful experience for most of the players. And if you look at them, they're quite young. But something that got me talking is the fact that when Gavon said, you know, some of the teams he felt would have fit this team don't even have at all. And the fact that they stayed together for just nine days and these boys were able to bring out something. And if you check the whole uh, tournament, every country that were represented, they came, they had a club. I mean, these clubs have been coming to this tournament, but Nigeria, they had to pick MPFL All-Stars. Why? Because most of the clubs have not embraced the youth system. The LMC want them to embrace. That's why. That's why. That's, 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 that's what I was saying. Um, okay. And it's, 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 I know. No, I mean, we can learn from this, of you know. Course. The team has any good range, has any bad, should have a proper B team. They Let's should. bring Chinasi Aiboye into should. this. Chinasi, I'm good to have you on sports this morning. My pleasure, Austin. Mm. How are you doing? You follow the MPFL Austin's team, I the, uh, just conclude how Tang the um, future champions tournament in South Africa? Yeah, uh, of course, you guys are talking about the fact that uh, some teams uh, do not have, uh, you know, feeder teams, and mm. that's actually sacrilegious when it comes to football at this level right now. You're talking about the likes of um, Rivers United, the likes right. of Rangers uh, FC League champions, they don't have a feeder team where they can, you know, uh, integrate these players from uh, and take them into the main team. It's actually surprising. I mm. think every standard club, you know, every serious football club would have a feeder team because it's a, it's, it's a developmental thing, you know, from there you get players into the main team. We'll know Barcelona, we'll know about the La Masia Academy. Mm. Players like David De Gea, Atletico Madrid, we've seen them, you know, we've seen players like the Manchester United, Dortmund, mm. Ajax, um, Arsenal, everywhere across all so, over the world. Sex Fabregas you know, came out on. of the Barca so, B team. I, I, I they think... sent him an internship to Arsenal, served Arsenal <laughs> for a long time, went back to Barca, <laughs> played for Barca, won the Champions League, and now is at Chelsea. You can say the same for um, Gerard Pique. Yeah, I mean, oh, right, you know. um, with everything you just described now, Austin, it feels like uh, Cesc has been playing for for decades, right? That's because it started earlier and there was a proper structure in place uh, to help him, you know, achieve. So, I, I, you know, I, 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 think, so, I think that should be put in place. Yeah, be, I mean, should be, the LMC, they have to look into this yeah, one because it, like, it should be put in place. Our teams, especially the so-called yeah. big teams, in fact, not just so every, oh, every, 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 claimed, every every twenty team, every twenty team, you know, no in the, the um, <laughs> 20, all the twenty. <laughs> because teams I remember <laughs> we're talking about Cecilia. We're, we're talking about School of India, uh, Football School of India, and they were getting the beatings. Twenty zero seventeen. It's a team, a proper team at yeah. that level, and they're yeah. learning something. Yeah. And we put together an awesome Business. team, and that's what Coach Gravman was trying to say. That we went round. We wanted to get a club and a team, and the way these guys have played, you can't tell that yes at that level there is 
there are talents, but yeah. somebody is not just putting them of into course. consideration. Yeah, course. because it's not just talent. Now, at that level, yes, of course, we have lots of raw talent, but it's now honing those talents, you know, mm. making them, turning them into uh, into something else, you know, because talents can only take you so far. You need to put on the proper structure, discipline, you know. Sure. Every other thing has to be put in place, and that is where uh, it, it, it has to happen with these teams. Mm. They need to have uh, proper structure, proper funding for their youth teams so that they will be able to translate them you know, fantastically into the uh, senior sides. Yeah, okay. Oh, yes, before we go on to the uh, MPFL yeah, match day 15, mm. Chinasi, I just, there's no way I'm not going to ask you this. Uh, since you're a big uh, basketball fan, I mean, who's the MVP uh, for the season? <laughs> Russell Westbrook, uh, triple doubles going out of fashion, or James Harden, who is having an amazing season as well, too. Mm. Uh, I mean, it's a very difficult one. I don't it's, know. It's, What's it's, your take? It's very difficult because, you know, uh, James Harden, why uh, James Harden is doing very well this is in his he's actually of course the goal of the russell westbrook phenomenon we won't mind it might be or it might be overshadowed but mm. the most important thing here he is might that be his team he has yeah, he might no, be. he has it's not he has not, not playing well. he has yeah. not been over, overshadowed not. because james harden is playing really well and the most important thing is that Houston Rockets are winning. Okay. You know, we saw them last season, they were not performing really well. Yes, you could give all credit to Mike D'Antoni, the coach, but also look at what James Harden has here. He has stepped up his game. He has, he has taken it to the next level. Yes, you yes. know, they had um, that man last season, talking about the big man, Superman, Dwight Howard. It didn't work it out didn't for work them. Out. Now, James Harden has taken so, you know, so possession of this team and look yeah. at what they are doing. Right. They're actually climbing up the, the, up, up the rankings and they are playing really well. Mm. So for Russell Westbrook now, the problem now is the fact that they lost up KD last season. Mm -hmm. Yes, Russell Westbrook Westbrook has taken everything on his shoulder, but how is it translating to the team? team yes. you know, that's but we're not being a big But at the end of the yeah. day, to him. Yeah. at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I, I would still lean towards uh, Russell. Russell Westbrook because okay. uh, he's doing something that that is not know, that hasn't saved. that hasn't been <laughs> in, a long in, in, a lo in a very long time. You know, know. people think because I think he, because of the way he's getting triple doubles now, people it's are beginning so to people are beginning to think that it's just triple doubles. Yeah. Come on, it's triple not. doubles is something you see. Maybe a player gets like four, five at most, like seven, eight, nine, ten in, in a season. season. Yeah. Yeah. look at how many this guy is getting. It's, it's like come on, every night I play, I I, I, I get triple doubles. Mm. You know, so for for that alone, I might just lean towards yeah, you, uh, Russell Westbrook. Yeah, but what about the voters? I mean, you said. Uh, the Houston Rockets, they're obviously playing really well. Third in the Western Conference, uh, 51 games they've won, they've lost 22. Um, the Thunder, they are the sixth in the Western Conference, 41 games they've won and 31 they've lost. So, based on that, those, those team records, you'd say, would you say voters uh, will actually uh, give um, James Harden the oh, edge? So it, it's, going to be, it's going to be a very tough... So it's not unanimous? No, def come on. Like, because we had unanimous last season. Yeah. Where, where was it last? Have you ever heard? I mean, I just, have you ever seen a unanimous MVP what vote? He's doing. I, aside what happened last season, last yeah. I don't know what happened. I still do not agree with that unanimous okay. MVP okay. vote last season. Come on. Steph Curry gets in all number one votes. Okay. Well, that's the topic for another It's not going to happen. It's definitely well. not going okay. to happen. Okay. Definitely not going to happen. Okay. Okay. No way. I don't know why somebody's okay. scoring for six like, already. I'm already like, still thinking someone else. Come convinced. on. I'm, I'm not convinced because I just felt Russell, Russell has given it all. If he doesn't win it, I'll stop watching NBA games. But it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> if he doesn't get it, I'll stop watching NBA games. Wow. I'm serious, yes, I will. Because, I mean, you, you can't stop? Yes, 36 now, yes, oh, I'll yeah. stop you watching. You stop talking about it. it still <laughs> I don't to, have a choice. It, 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 it I needs to, it needs to translate yeah. into the team. No, I will stop yeah. watching NBA games. He's done his best. He's done his best. He's done his best. Wait, just talk about it. James Harden is winning in a team that is winning. James Harden, the team was not winning last season. If you remember. James Harden got players who can score more, even when he's not scoring. Just mm. take a look at what Come happened. Come on, look at the players around. Look, 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 look at the players around James Harden. Look at the players around Russell Westbrook. Yeah. I think they are, they are basically the but, same category. We know when KD, yes, no, they are not. Okay. Uh, because when KD was around, it, yeah. uh, if, if you want to talk about OKC. Okay, so KD is one you, of the top two players in the world. Precisely, so you just mentioned KD and Russell KD. Westbrook. Who else do you mention? Well, he's left now. It's so just it's the all, two of them. Yeah. So he is left. It's just yes, one. Victor, and they didn't have... Ah, Victor, like, Steve Adams in the team. How many points? Has he ever scored 30 points in a game this season? Okay, guys, let's just end it this way. Let's end it this way. Let's just end it by... We'll talk about this way. Yeah, we'll end well, I know where I know where I'm going with this one. I mean, um, James Harden without um, uh, Houston Rockets without James Harden. James Harden. Where would they be? You still have Houston Rockets, I guess. <laughs> How many games? You still have Houston Rockets. Thunder without, without, without there's nothing. I mean, they would be, be like Lakers. They'll be way down. Yeah, right? they'll be like Lakers. Do you know? Do you, do, do you know where the Rockets will be without James Harden? Yes, yeah, I know absolutely. where they'll be. Maybe eight. They'll be all right. Maybe eight. They'll, they'll be all right. Can, eight, can eight, I tell you guys? Can I tell you guys? Come on. Can I tell you guys where we can be with this show?